we are now going to solve the example 7.1 and in example 7.1 we are going to find out the ground state energy of a one dimensional harmonic oscillator we know about the hamiltonian that this is a sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy and for a harmonic oscillator 2m and d square over d x square and plus we know the potential energy of a harmonic oscillator half omega square x square that what we studied in chapter 2 of quantum mechanics and what we will do here we will pick a trial function and the trial function is similar to the we will pick a trial function the Gaussian trial function which is similar to the harmonic oscillator equation or the wave function this is a which is the normalization constant e minus b x squared so this is a Gaussian function that I have selected and it is resembling with the actual wave function of the harmonic oscillator which we have covered in equation 2.59 this we have covered there means a similar equation so it is our trial function here in this equation a being the normalization constant while b is a parameter serving here is a constant but it's a parameter that we will finally determine at the end uh, of this example so here we are going to solve the the equation that we will go here is state one that h we will determine the expectation value of h which is equal to psi h psi and this one greater or equal to the ground state energy so this we will uh, determine and now we start with our trial function first we will normalize our trial function and to normalize a trial function we know that let me write the here that we are covering the normalization the normalization of the trial function sine of x so this is means principally sine psi should be equal to 1 and now I can write this in integral form from minus infinity to plus infinity and psi is a e minus b x square and this will be a conjugate and then a e minus b x square d x and this is equal to 1 so now this is this will come out to be a mod square because a conjugate will come out and a will come out so a mod square and integral from minus infinity to plus this will be because it's conjugate it will not affect this thing in minus dx square and minus dx square will become minus 2dx square and dx and this is equal to 1 now this if I look at this equation now this equation is uh, an even function this is an even function so even function I can write that this will be then 2 times a mod square and the limits will come out from 0 to infinity means like from minus infinity to 0 and 0 to plus infinity so is this is 
even function so this will be can be written i hope you know this thing can be written is 0 to infinity e to the power minus 2b x square dx equals 1 now i know of formula here that integral from 0 to infinity x to the power 2n e to the power minus x square over a square dx is equal to square root pi 2n whole factorial over n factorial and a over 2 power 2n plus 1. So this is the formula that we will use on this integration. First we will have to see here that what is the value of n here. So the value of n, if I look here, there is no x. So it means n is equal to 0 because x to the power 0 will come out to be 1. And what about the value which is a here? What about the a value here in our integral? a is because minus is minus and x square is x square. So 1 over a square, 1 over a square is equal to 2b. So it means that here 1 over a squared, a squared is equal 1 over a square is equal to 2b so a square equal to 1 over 2b and this implies that a is equal to 1 over 2b square root. So I will have to put these things the limits are the same so I can write that this implies that 2a mod square and this integral will give me the integral will give me pi square root and then n is equal to 0 so 0 factorial 0 factorial comes out to be 1 and what is the value of a the a value is 1 over 2b square root here the value of n is 0, so 2, 0 is 1, 1, it means the power of a by 2 is 1. So a by 2, so for a I will write 1 over 2b square root and divide by 2. So I can write this thing is 2 is cancelled, 2 is cancelling with 2 here and I am having pi and 2b here, so I can write them in 1, so this will be a mod square and pi over 2b and this is the square root means I will combine them and this is equal to 1 and this makes the value of a which is a here means I will remove the square root as well when it will come here it will become 2b over pi square root so one square root from here when it comes here so it will become 2b 2b over pi and its power will come out to be 1 over 4 so we have the value of a equals this and that's why I can write sine of x here is 2b over pi r 1 over 4 e to the power minus b x square is our normalized wave function. Now what we want? We want now to calculate the expectation value of h because this is 
what, re what is required in the variational principle, this value we will calculate. We know that uh, the value to get an upper bound for the ground state energy and we know that what h is equal to the Hamiltonian is equal to the expectation value of kinetic energy plus the expectation value of potential energy. This is our h here and this is our v here. So first we will find the value of t the expectation value of kinetic energy is equal to now this will be psi t psi and let me simplify the things here now what for t I will write I will write for t minus h bar square over 2 m d square over d x square so it will be psi and minus h bar square over 2m d square over d x square the psi will come in here and then this thing is equal to I will put the values here and then this t will come out to be minus h bar square over 2 in will come outside it is in the kit here so it will come out here and then I will have the wave function now a is there with the wave function so a will come out and it will come out to be is a mod square and then e minus dx square will remain there in the integration. So minus infinity to plus infinity, 1 e to the power minus dx square will remain. Then we have t here and t this d square over dx square, d square over dx square, and then psi it will operate on this psi and it is minus d x square and then dx here. So we will just operate this one on this and what it will be. Now when I operate the d over dx on this one then what it will become? d over dx on e to the power minus d x square if I operate 1 on this one it will come out to be the same then the derivative of this one minus 2 d x and e to the power minus d x square so it means minus 2 d x will be here and I can write this equation now is minus h bar square minus h bar square over 2m a mod square and then minus 2b will come here minus 2b will come outside and then I can write the integral from minus infinity to plus and e to the power minus dx square this one while this will remain only d over dx because on 1 I have applied 1 d by dx and 2b has gone out and this will be x e to the power minus dx squared and dx here. So this is now the I will have now to apply d over dx on this one so let me consider this is the first function and this is the second function